Hey people, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for another video. So today we are doing a speed build of an infant's bedroom because in case you didn't know, which I mean I'm sure you did, the infant update released yesterday. So we finally have a new life state added to The Sims 4. Now for a long time I was very confused are like infants gonna be a separate life state or are they basically updating the babies they're a separate life state so when your sim's born i think they're babies i say i think no they are so yeah we got a new life state in the sims 4 now the reason i know this properly is because when i looked in build mode you know when there's like items for toddlers or child sims that they can use and it says that toddlers can use it and children can use it it says that it supports infants now and it says with the cribs or the bassinets that they support newborns so they're like a different life stage basically but this room i actually quite like it it's not completely bland like a lot of my room builds tend to be there's a bit of color in it i probably could have gone down a different route with the color and I probably will do another nursery room build because I am just obsessed, to be honest. But I woke up really early this morning before, you know, I got work later on today. But I woke up early this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm going to build in The Sims. As you do at like 6am, just start building in The Sims. But, you know, it's fine. I had a lot of fun doing it. The new stuff that they've added, like this rug. And this rug, so cute. And there's loads of swatches with foxes on them. You know, I am Tory Fox. Foxes are like my favourite animals. And, well, that is so exciting to me. Honestly, this is the best update ever. It was a really big update and it took like two hours for it to download and install. That's probably because my internet isn't very good. So that's a bit of a shame. That's why I haven't streamed for such a long time. Back when I was in uni, we had uni internet, which obviously had to be kind of good because of the amount of people using the uni internet. And that was good enough to stream. And, you know, there were probably loads of people using the internet and it was still good enough to stream. But the internet at my house is not so good. Better than it used to be like a couple of years ago, but still not very good. Um, and then Origin, no not Origin, Origin doesn't exist anymore, I keep forgetting that. The EA app, which surprisingly seems to be worse than Origin, I know, shocker, like how, how is that even possible? But the EA app would not work yesterday, probably because of the sheer amount of people trying to sign in and update their game and get infants. And it wouldn't work for like an hour, it just wouldn't let anybody sign in. Well, I don't know if it wouldn't let anybody sign in, but I know a lot of people were having issues. I couldn't sign in for an hour. So that was kind of annoying. Then it took two hours to update my game. The update literally came out at 6pm. So I got into game at like 9pm. And then I filmed a quick little overview of the infants in Creator Sim. Then I found out that my microphone wasn't working properly. I was fuming. I was like, oh my goodness, everything's going wrong for me today. <laughs> But it's fine. Today we are building a cute little nursery. This update, honestly. The little items they've added are so cute. I love them so much. I just want to build like loads of nurseries. And can you imagine the nursery builds like everyone's going to do when Growing Together comes out? Which is tomorrow. I am so excited for it, honestly. Like probably the most excited I've been for an expansion pack like ever. I would say I was pretty excited for The Sims 4 seasons though, but that was, you know, way before I had a channel, but I was so excited for that one. I actually haven't seen any early access content or live streams or anything about Growing Together aside from obviously the trailers, so I have literally no idea what to expect. So I don't know whether it's going to be good or not. I'm just going to, I'm going to see. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I wanted to just get into the game and start playing. And I did mention in my last video, but I am actually planning on doing a Let's Play for Growing Together. I've come up with a name for the Let's Play, which I really, I really love. You know, you know, when you think of the best ideas, like really late at night, I was like, oh, I should have a sim 
and name her Flo. And then we could call it Grow with the Flow. You know, like growing together, go with the flow. Yeah, you, you get it. Why do I think of these good ideas late at night? I mean, it's probably not that good, but I like it. I think it sounds cool. So our little Let's Play is going to be called The Sims 4 Grow with the Flow. And hopefully you approve of the title of this Let's Play. <laughs> And if not, I'm still going to use it. You can see me here right now trying to use this door from high school years. It's really not suited for infant sims. But I liked it because it was all customised and cute. So eventually I managed to make it work. I just turned the door the other way round. And that design honestly looks a lot better for an infant's room. But I actually really like this room. I think it's got you know, quite a bit of personality compared to a lot of my builds, which are very neutral. For someone that likes bright colours, I've said this before, my builds are like way too neutral. But, you know, I really liked it and I think it looks cute. I've got some diapers in there and all the toddler changing stuff that you might need. And yeah, that is pretty much the whole speed build of this room. I really like how it turned out. And if you did as well, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already, as it really helps my channel. And I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you next time. Bye!